दिस चैनल इज़ फॉर बॉटनी एंड जोलॉजी लेक्चर्स सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल फॉर लेटेस्ट अपडेट्स थैंक्स Assalamu alaikum students today we are going to study about the sexual reproduction in ectocarpus sexual reproduction in ectocarpus so when we talk about the sexual reproduction in ectocarpus then we can say the sexual reproduction in ectocarpus is isogamous isogamous so what do mean isogamous isogamous mean that gametes similar in size so gametes similar in size <clears throat> so isogamous as well as homothelic homothelic what do mean homothelic the word homothelic mean all the gametes all gametes mean both gametes male and female gametes are produced in the same thallus or a plant body so we can write here homothelic mean both gametes both gametes are <coughs> produce produce on same plant body same plant body or a thallus or a thallus so homothelic mean both male and female gametes are produced on a same plant body but sometime the sexual reproduction in ectocarpus is an isogamous an isogamous what mean an isogamous an isogamous mean the gamete produced in the plant body are not similar in size so we can write here gametes are not similar <coughs> not similar in size so this term is known as an isogamous and and isogamous gametes are produced in the different plant bodies so that's why we can say that gametes are heterothelic so gametes are heterothelic gametes are heterothelic heterothelic mean heterothelic heterothelic mean the gametes which are produced on the different plant bodies it mean <coughs> male gametes are produced on the different plant body and female gametes are produced on another plant body female gametes so these both gametes are produced on the different plant body then such type of gametes are known as heterothelic gametes when the gametes are produced on the same plant body then gametes are known as homothelic so now we are going to study how these gametes are produced actually these gametes are produced in a plurilocular gametangia so gametes gametes are produced at the haploid plant body at the haploid plant body and <clears throat> the structure in which gametes are produced that structure is known as gametangia that structure is known as gametangia and because gametangia are have many many locule or a spaces or a cavities so that's why we can say that gametangia are plurilocular so we can write here gametes gametes are produced in a structure in a body which is known as plurilocular gametangia gametangia so it mean gametangia are the structure in which gametes are produced and because the gametangia have many many locule or a spaces or a cavities so that's why we can say that gametangia are plurilocular so how these plurilocular 
gamete and GR produce the gametes. <coughs> Actually, for example, this one is a plant body of ectocarpus which is actually haploid and these are the branches of the haploid plant body and always plurilocular gametangia produce at the short terminal branches uh, are the produced at the tip or a terminal part of the short branches of ectocarpus. So we can write here, <coughs> here the plurilocular gametangia is now producing to produce the gametes. So how it, this gametangia will produce the gametes. So we can write here, this is haploid, haploid plant body. And this is a short branch and this is a terminal cell which actually is converting into plurilocular sporangia. So we can write here gametangial initial, gametangial, gametangial, initial. Why it is called gametangial initial? Because it is now giving rise the plurilocular gametangia and inside the gametangia gametes will produce. <coughs> so how this gametangial initial give rise a plurilocular gametangia to produce the gametes. So now I am making a diagram how this is converted into, for example, this one is the haploid plant body of the ectocarpus and these are the short branches and this is the terminal portion which is actually known as gametangial initial. So we can write here gametangial initial is and this gametangial initial divide mitotically but keep in mind this plant body is haploid it is a very important point to understand you is that plant body is haploid haploid mean one end <clears throat> and this gametangial initial is also haploid this is also haploid but keep in mind this haploid cell divide mitotically and when it will divide mitotically then similar cells are produced and many many cells are produced which are similar and it means all the gametes are produced are haploid but not produced mutically they are produced mitotically <coughs> so how they are producing actually this is a similar plant body this is a branch and this is a gametangial initial. Now this is divide and produce two cells. Then again this is produce mitosis. It means as a result of mitosis two cells are produced. Again mitosis will occur and produce four cells. Again mitosis occur and produce eight cells. So many many more cells are produced as a result of mitosis. So we can write here, this is a plant body and now many many more divisions are, are take place and many many more cells are produced like this and many tires of the cells are produced as a result of vertical as well as transverse division. These are the vertical division and the division like this, these are known as transverse division. So many many more cells are produced but these cells are produced as a result of mitosis not meiosis. <coughs> so that's why now many many more cells are produced and many many more locules are present and in each locule each nucleus is present so that's why this gametangia is known as plurilocular gametangia. So we can write here plurilocular 
गैमीटेंजिया प्लोरिल ऑफ प्लूलर गैमीटेंजिया सो व्हाट विल हैपन आफ्टर दिस एक्चुअली दिस इज द प्लांट बॉडी दिस प्लांट बॉडी these are the short branches and now it is converted into this plurilocular gametangia when these layers or a rose layer these are the layers or the rows of the cell when the number of these rows become 24 24 to 40 rows or a layers or a tires these are also known as rows or a tires when these rows become 24 to 40 then each cell's nuclei is starts surrounding around its protoplast so how these are surrounded by protoplast definitely these are the divisions and many many more locules are present and due to presence of locule many many more nuclei are present and these are actually produced as a result of mitosis and these are the cells or a nuclei and when each nuclei is surrounded by protoplast these are the nuclei and these nuclei are produced as a result of mitosis now each nucleus is surrounded by protoplast this is a protoplast when these nuclei are surrounded by protoplast then these are acting as gametes actually these are gametes gametes nuclei but still another change is required to make these nuclei or a cells converting into gametes actually when these are now converting into cells these are gamete cells what will happen after this and how they will convert into a zoo gametes actually when these nuclei are surrounded by protoplast then they will start to produce their flagella so how they will start pro uh, produce flagella for example this is a plant body and at the plant body this is a gametangia and many many more rows are produced these are the rows and inside these locules these are the nuclei and around the nuclei there is a protoplast these are the nuclei now converting into cells because these are surrounded by a protoplast so this is a protoplast around this is a protoplast around when the protoplast surround it they will start producing their flagella when the flagella are produced these are actually the nuclei surrounded by protoplast and now they will start producing flagella how these are actually the flagella which are present or producing each of the cell now these are known as zoogametes so i am going to now tell you that why these are known as zoogametes actually the word zoo is used for the animals so that's why these are the gametes having a sperm as we know that sperm are motile so that's why these are also motile because they have flagella as sperm have flagella so that's why these are known as zoo gametes because these gametes can move so that's why these are known as zoo gametes so when these zoo gametes are produced they will come out from this gametangia how they will come out from the gametangia a small pore is produced at this 
gametangia or the tip or a top of the uh, gametangia and these zoospore will release from this gametangia how they will release like this these are the zoospores sorry zoogametes not zoospores so what is the difference between the zoogametes as well as zoospores actually zoogametes are smaller in size they are smaller in size but when we talk about the zoospores they are larger in size so now zoogametes are produced they will fuse and produce a new